Hi friends, this video is from intv.com. Intv.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the uh, basic concept of auto wiring uh, using auto wire annotation in Spring Framework. The auto wire annotation can be used to auto wire based on the setter method, just like required annotation, constructor, uh, property methods, or methods. When Spring finds auto wired annotation used with setter methods, it tries to perform by type auto wiring on the method basically it will try to push an object to a bean another bean to the existing bean I'll show you an example I've done a very simple code to make you understand so I have two beans like book book is one of the bean and the author is the, you know, the another bean so in the book class if you see I have marked the author as the auto wired can you see here auto wire? I'm using auto wire annotation. Auto wire annotation is coming from Spring Framework. Uh, the intention is when I create the book bean, I want the author bean to be auto wired. Okay, that's why I've given here and bean is already a, a component. That means a bean. Author is also a, a bean. So by making here this attribute as auto wired, when I when I get this book bean from the spring container this author also will be auto wired and I'll, I'll be getting the value so for demo purpose what I've done is I, I have a constructor in the author so that when I get this book bean from the container I will also see this output and for demo purpose I am assigning some value so that we can display and see how exactly it works so let's see how exactly works uh, this auto wiring. I have a simple uh, main class I've written and uh, annotation config application context I am using here and I am passing the auto wire demo config class here. So this will have the component scan package details. So component scan package details. This is like an XML file. Before Spring 3 we were having XML file, but now we can use Java config to load all the beans. So this is my bean packages where it will be scanned and it will be registered in the spring container so I'm going to start this now let's see how exactly it works so I'm starting the debugging now my application context will be loaded first it will be prepared first then I'm going to ask the container to give me this book bean okay and if you see this book bean object that is written it will have the author in it and before that the constructor will be called so can you see this I didn't call the constructor the constructor was called by the spring because we have here auto wiring okay so it tries to create this object and it try to inject in that in this attribute okay so now let's go here okay so I'm just initializing to Martin Fowler a famous author for refactoring and now we are getting the book object you see here author is already so the book will have the author name so here it is printing so this is how the auto wiring works in spring hope this video is useful thank you and all the best if you like this video please press the like button thank you